In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual deck of cards and how to shuffle it. A common academic exercise. So um, I'm going to model this after the game of Uno, uh, where you have four colors. Um, and then for each color, you've got numbers one through nine, a skip, a reverse, and a draw two. I am not going to implement the wild cards right now, uh, just, just for simplicity. Um, so to get this, to model this, so I've got these string arrays to store all these values. To construct a deck that contains one of every card, uh, first we need to know how many cards there are. And rather than hard code it, I'm just going to base it on um, the length of these arrays. So our deck's going to have the number of colors times the number of different values. Okay. And to store our deck, I'm going to store this in a two-dimensional integer array where the first index, uh, the first dimension is going to represent uh, one of each card in the deck, the deck essentially. The second dimension is going to store two values. Uh, one to store the index for the colors, and one to store the index of the va of the value of the card. So that's going to look like this. So integer, two square brackets, because it's a two-dimensional array. Just call it deck. And it's going to be an integer array. The first dimension, as I mentioned, is going to be the cards, the deck itself, representing that. The second dimension going to be too big, too wide. Uh, again, one to store the color, one to store the, the face value of the card. Now, the first thing we need to do is shuffle this deck. So to do that, I'm going to need another data structure. Um, I need to go through, I'm going to create a, I'm going to randomly pick numbers and assign the deck that way. But I need to know if I've already picked a card because you can only have one of each card in the deck. That's what makes it a deck. So to do that, I'm gonna create a second two-dimensional array. But this one's just Booleans. Um, we're gonna call it picked. And it's gonna be the same size as our deck. I know this is not gonna be the same size as a deck. This is gonna, represent one of each card available in the deck. Uh, so let's do it by color dot length. Oops. Colors dot length. This way what we can do, we can mark with this Boolean whether we've picked a card, a particular color and value yet. And just for fun, let's initialize all the values to false. So to do that, I'm going to have two for loops. I go through every possible combination. And I'm just going to set this picked of I, J, false. This will kind of reset the deck. And then. I need to create a random object, Let's call it R. And I need to import this from Java Utils. All right, so now to actually shuffle the deck, I'm gonna create another for loop, and I'm gonna loop for every card in the deck. So starting at zero, and while I is less than um, cards. And 
And for each card, I'm going to pick a random color and a random value. So to do that, create an integer rand color. And let's use our random object to get the next, next in. And let's set the bound to the number of colors. Like that. So now that will pick a random number between 0 and 3. So it will randomly pick one of the four colors. Let's do the same thing for the face value of the card. Oops. And for this bound, we're going to do the length of the values array. So we randomly get one of those values. So well, now, when we run this, the first loop through, it's going to pick a random card. The second time through, it's going to pick another set of random numbers. It might be the same, color, the same card. So we need to check for that. And if it, is, if it picks a card that it's already been picked, uh, we want to pick another card. The uh, easy way to do that is with a while loop. And we'll just say while well, picked of brand color and brand val. So it, while picked is true at that element in the array, we want to pick another number. Uh, same thing here. We'll just copy. And we need want to do the same thing with the face value. So I do need to be careful here. If you try to pick more cards than there are possible combinations, this while loop won't ever exit. You'll have a forever loop trying to find another random number when there isn't one that exists. So this should be okay. Um, so after this while loop, now we've got rand color and rand val representing a random card. So let's stick that in our deck at i, and I'm using the First element of the second dimension to store the color. So we're storing the index of the element in the array and the second element of that second dimension is for the value. And then the last thing we need to do is make sure that we mark that we picked that card. Just do that by setting that picked uh, two-dimensional array to true at that spot. So there you go. That is That should produce a shuffled deck of Uno cards. So for fun, uh, let's print it out and see what it looks like. For that, let's just do another, another for loop. All right, when we run this, let's see what happens. All right, so there's our output. We got up to card 47, so and we're zero index, so 48 cards. And if you look down through here, it looks pretty random. I don't see any repeats. I see all four colors. 
everything, all the numbers, the draw two, the skip, reverse. So there you go. There is some pretty simple code on creating a uh, deck of cards and then shuffling it.